we're back. Uh, we're doing business. It's business as usual. That's Belmar restaurant owner David Morin's message to tourists. Federico's Pizza was the lieutenant governor's first stop this morning, part of the administration's Open for Business initiative. Tourism is the third largest industry in New Jersey. It is a $34 billion industry. We need to let people know that the parts of the Jersey Shore are open. You're going to see us doing this all through the springtime. We're going to have a very active spring campaign and um, encouraging people to come to the Jersey Shore. Federico's Pizza and Restaurant opened 10 days after the storm. The building didn't suffer any significant damage. Warren says the number of deliveries has declined, but business in the restaurant has picked up. We get all the contractors in, so it's been good. Nearby, the Belmar Bagel Cafe saw a similar uptick in sales post Sandy. Our business increased the month after because of all the contractors and people in town. Belmar window shop owner Steve Bodwin isn't as optimistic. He thinks the damage Sandy left behind will impact the summer tourism season along the coast. We're not going to get busy for quite a while. We've we've uh, we've been dead for for months on end. There's been no business. There are about 140 businesses in Belmar. The mayor says almost all the restaurants and stores have reopened since the storm, with the exception of three or four businesses along the waterfront. Every one of our businesses before Sandy have committed to wanting to come back and reopen in time for this summer. But are people getting the message that parts of the Jersey Shore are open for business? Cape May County Chamber of Commerce Vicki Clark says business was down during their Christmas holiday season. Clark thinks one of the main contributors is the national media's portrayal that the entire Jersey coast was destroyed. The chamber is advocating for an aggressive media campaign to set the record straight. Well, I think Governor Christie has given a solid commitment to tourism that he's going to be pushing more to get the information out to the people outside the state, and I think he's fully committed to that. I think you're going to see a very solid campaign come out of the state of New Jersey. That's something many Jersey Shore business owners are counting on. As for whether tourists get the message, well, that remains to be seen. In Belmar, I'm Lauren Wonko for NJ Today.